Seven Strategies for Wealth and Success is a book by Jim Rohn that revolves around a very hard basic fact, which is success is not something you pursue, success is something you develop. But furthermore, it also provides strategies to achieve success and concrete steps towards it, so let's see what they are. But before we do, feel free to subscribe for more similar content if you haven't done so yet, like the video if you end up enjoying it and share it with a friend if you find it useful, it really helps the channel out tremendously and I really appreciate it. Strategy slash takeaway number one, setting goals. For the future to pull you, it must be planned. You'll anticipate your future when you plan and design it. Well-designed goals are like magnets. The harder you work on them, the stronger they'll pull you. If you have enough reasons, you can accomplish great things. Establish your long-range goals or what you want to do within the next one to 10 years. What do you want to do, see, be, have, share, and where would you like to go? Write down as many things as you can, make sure to include these categories. Financial goals, material goals, personal development goals, family and social goals, and lifestyle goals. First, write down a list of items without describing them in detail. And once you have the list, next to the things you can accomplish in one year, write the number one. Next to the things that will take three years to accomplish, write three. And do the same for five and ten year goals. After you determine this, go back to the list. Pick out 4 most important goals for every time horizon. These 16 goals will give you a lot of work. Now describe these goals in detail and why they are important to you. Give your goals purpose. What do you want and why do you want it for? Now this is very important as a motivator and will let you reflect on the actual importance of the goal. And you'll sell yourself on the goal or talk yourself out of it. Next, set aside time every week to update your goals, check your progress, add new ones and so on. Add short range goals, those under a year. They will be your confidence builders. Write them down and break them down to weekly, monthly and so on. Make sure to check at least one weekly goal off every week and celebrate every big goal completion and punish the lack of discipline. It's very important to work on your goals, analyze and update them frequently if you want to succeed, but most people don't want to do it and they don't succeed. Don't be one of them. Bear in mind that your goals affect you all day, every day. The people who fail to plan, plan to fail. Also, think about the kind of person you will have to become to achieve everything that you desire. What kind of skills are you going to need to have? Reflect upon this and write down the requirements. These will be your basic personal development goals. Remember that income usually does not far exceed personal development. There is nothing you can do about your past, but you can do a great deal about your future. Takeaway slash strategy number two, gathering information. Study whatever you wish to be and achieve. Many people want wealth, but they don't want to study it. What a mystery. Go search for the ideas you need. A good idea won't look for you instead. When you find a good idea, capture it, write it down. Consider using a journal or a camera to gather your ideas. Learn the skill called reflection. Reflect upon all the events in your life with the intention of learning something new from them. Don't just run through your day, get from your days. At the end of each day, take a few minutes to go over your day and reflect upon the experience to turn it into something of value. Repeat this at the end of each week, month and year also. The more value, the more substance, the more information, the more wisdom you can gather from all your yesterdays, the more exciting your future becomes. Now, one of the ways we learn how to do something right is by doing it wrong. Think of the progress you can make by becoming a student of your life. You can also learn from others, and both from positive and negative outcomes. Three ways to learn from other people are To listen. Take at least 30 minutes a day to hear or read something instructional or challenging. But don't just read and listen to easy stuff. Tap the treasure of ideas every day. The best money you can spend is on your education. So become self-educated, because standard education will give you standard results. Also study nutrition to make sure your body is up to the task. To ask questions. Take a successful person to a dinner and listen, ask questions, stretch the meal and ask more questions. That might be your best value meal ever. To observe. Watch what successful people do. Success leaves clues. And if you're clever enough, you can pick them up. Strategy number three. Learning how to change. If you took all the money in the world and divided it equally among everybody, it would soon all be back in the same pockets. 
I guess it's hard to keep what you have not attracted by your own personal development. Now look, we actually get paid for the value that we get to the marketplace, not the time. If you become twice as valuable, you can make twice as much in the same time span. So learn to work primarily on yourself instead of your job to achieve progress. The way you get above average income is by becoming an above average person. Next up, get involved in some form of exercise to stay fit. This will benefit your energy levels and ability to live a long healthy life. It will also affect your physical appearance. Together with good nutrition, this will let your body keep up with your mind and it's important for both of them to be in shape to be your best self. Life is like the four seasons and these are the four major lessons in life. Learn how to handle the winters. Some are long, some are short, but they always come after the fall. There are personal, economic and social winters and you must learn how to handle them. Don't wish it were easier, wish you were better. Get stronger, wiser and better, cause you can change, but winters won't. Take advantage of every opportunity. Spring comes after the winter. Opportunity meets difficulty, so use it, don't just let the seasons pass. Learn how to nourish and protect your crops every summer. All good will be attacked, not to think so is naive. All values must be defended. Develop the skill to defend your garden so you can actually keep the crops you grow. Learn how to reap in the fall without complaint. Take full responsibility for what happens to you. This is the fullest form of maturity. Learn how to reap without apology no matter the result. There are no reasons for not looking good. There is nobody to blame, especially not the government, prices, weather, traffic, your family, neighbors and so on. Mastering Discipline the disciplines are those ingenious keys that unlock the door to the kind of person we really want to become. And becoming attracts all those treasures and values that almost anyone would call the good life. If your goal was to complete 10 tasks but you only completed 7, you are down 3 tasks. There is a huge danger in looking at such an undisciplined day and considering it fine. 3 tasks themselves don't seem like much, but if you add up 3 actions less every day for a year and then add up the years to make a lifetime, you'll realize just how catastrophically damaging lack of discipline and consistency really is. While on the other hand, success piles up in the same way. If your target was 10 but you did 13, you're up 3 tasks, and this repeated over a lifetime can make a massive difference. Now the first key to discipline is the awareness of need for it and value of it. The second key is willingness and eagerness to deliver it and the third key is the commitment to make something of every opportunity. Takeaway number 4. Building financial wealth. It's a worthy goal to become financially independent for three major reasons. Freedom to devote your time to do whatever you want to do. The fact that it drastically increases your ability to help others. Only from positions of strength can we help someone else. And most importantly, for the sake of developing the person you must become to achieve the goal. Set a goal so it makes you the person you have to become to achieve it. Reaching the goal is not the primary reward. The person you become is. Million dollars is not your main reward. The person you have to become to get them is the main reward. Develop a new attitude about yourself and what it takes to make your life unique. Make sure to put money aside for taxes, understand how taxes work, why you pay them and how to pay less taxes legally. Learn to live below your means, on 70% of your net income or less. Note that it's not the dollar amount that counts, it's the plan that counts. It's not what you allocate, it's how you allocate it. Wealth is the matter of allocation, not opportunity. Out of 30% that you save, put away 10% or your own percentage to give back to others. Start this early to get the habit rolling. Next 10% should be used on capital projects, business, real estate or something similar that will generate you profits. Use your money to make more money. One of the major factors that affects all your life is what you do with your money. Why not work full time on your job and part time on your future? The last 10% goes to the capital you provide. Stocks, bonds, high interest savings accounts or something else that will generate you income while letting somebody else use your money to generate their own profits. Now do bear in mind that the accumulated time makes you money. The passing of time is automatic, but whether you keep feeding the goose that lays the golden eggs will decide the outcome. Poor people spend their money and save what's left. Rich people save their money and spend what's left. Did you ever hear of a tree growing half as high as it could? 
No, only humans with the power of choice settle for less than they can be. So make as much money as you possibly can. Put together your financial statements so you know exactly where you are and how far you are from where you want to be. Put your assets in one column and liabilities in another. Subtract one from the other and you'll get your net worth. The results don't have to be public, but you have to know how you're doing. Also make sure to track all your expenses so you know exactly where it all goes. A lot of high income earners are still broke cause they raise their expenses as their income grows and they often have no idea where it all goes. So don't fall into that trap. Strategy number 5. Managing time effectively. Make your hours more valuable. The key is to work smarter instead of harder. It's not the hours that you put in that counts, it's what you put in the hours. Either you run your day or your day runs you, so make sure you are in charge. Learn to say no instead of coming up with excuses. Don't let your mouth overload your back. When you work, work and when you play, play. Don't mix the two as it will mess up both experiences, so just separate work and play. Next up, analyze yourself and change your schedule if needed. Analyze your most productive periods throughout the day. Do your creative work when you are at your peak performance and use it to its fullest. Now, before you make a call, make an agenda, especially if it's a business call. This will keep your conversation on track and you won't forget anything. And if you need to call the same person again to speak on the same topic, you'll have all your topics in writing, so you're gonna be 100% sure that you did mention them, even if somebody tries to convince you otherwise. Shut your phone off completely during social times so it doesn't interfere with your family time and make them a priority. Learn to ask questions. It'll save you a lot of time. People will often tell you the underlying problems, so trying to guess them is usually not very time efficient. And finally, learn to think on paper. Take things out of your head and put them on a paper. And then build on the plan. Try using journals, project books, day timers and game plans. Make notes on all the information you need to know in any situation and schedule your days. Takeaway slash strategy number 6. The people you choose to allow in your life. Never underestimate the power of influence, cause chances are you'll end up doing what people around you tend to do. There are three key questions to ask to evaluate all the people around you. Who am I around? What are they doing to me? Is it okay? Take a close and objective look. Finding things out is the best policy and it'll be worth it. Positive influence can have a huge positive impact on your life. So can the negative influence. Don't let negative influences and pressures shape your life. There might be some people in your life that you just have to break away from entirely and not let them affect you anymore. For some other people you might want to simply limit associations. Don't let anyone make you spend major time on minor things. It's okay to have a casual friends as long as you give them casual time. Give major time to major friends instead. You must determine in which category the people belong to. Finally, there are some people that you'll want to expand associations with. If you truly wish to be successful, you'll have to get around the right people that'll make you grow. They might even drop an idea that'll change your life or give you a great life plan. Spending time with such people often ends up being an intellectual feast. If you don't have direct access to such people, you can still get the intellectual feast by reading the books they wrote or similar informative content. Takeaway number 7. Lifestyle. A great challenge in life is being happy with what you have while in pursuit of what you want. Some people have a lot of things and money, but they don't get any joy out of them. Save up Pepsi money to buy a bottle of fine wine. Don't spend your money a quarter at a time. Buy something that lasts or something that you'll be proud of. Think of something you can do today to make yourself feel better and richer. Make sure not to miss the places and experiences that are very close within your reach. The key to happiness is not more. More money will only make you more of what you already are. If you're unhappy, more money will make you miserable. Style is also not more. It's like an art of life. The test of the better or the best. You have to study it and reach for the best. Don't miss out on things you can enjoy, especially if they don't cost a lot. Life in style is also life in balance. If you care about something, there's no price to match that. Better to live in a tent on the beach and have a love affair than live in a mansion by yourself. 
Human emotions are very powerful and can have dramatic effects on your life. They can build or destroy, make or break, depending on how you use them. Watch out for these emotions and make sure to use them in a positive way. Disgust, the emotion of decision or our internal conflict, desire and resolve. To summarize, setting goals. Establish all your goals and write them down. Think of what you want to do, see, be, have, share and where would you like to go. Pick out the most important ones and describe them in detail. Work hard on your goals and analyze and update them frequently if you want to succeed. Gathering information. Study whatever you wish to be and achieve. Reflect upon all the events in your life with the intention of learning something new from them. You can also learn from others and both from positive and negative outcomes. Three ways to learn from other people are to listen, to ask questions and to observe. Learning how to change. The best way to get above average income is by becoming an above average person. Get involved in some form of exercise to stay fit. Four major lessons in life are Learn how to handle the winters. Take advantage of every opportunity. Learn how to nourish and protect your crops every summer. And learn how to reap in the fall without complaining. Everything in nature strives to be all that it can be, so you should also stay disciplined. Building financial wealth. It's a worthy goal to become financially independent for three major reasons. Freedom of time, it increases your ability to help others, and you become the person you must become to achieve that goal. To build wealth, learn to live below your means on 70% of your net income or less. Put away 10% to give back to others, 10% on capital projects, and the last 10% goes to the capital that you provide. Managing time effectively. Make your hours more valuable. Learn to say no instead of coming up with excuses. Analyze yourself and change your schedule if needed. Before you make a call, make an agenda, especially if it's a business call. Shut the phone off during social times. Learn to ask questions and learn to think on paper. The people you choose to allow into your life. Never underestimate the power of influence. Three key questions to ask to evaluate all the people around you are Who am I around? What are they doing to me? Is that okay? There might be some people that you just have to break away from entirely. For some other people, you might want to limit the associations, and there are some people that you will want to expand associations with. Lifestyle A great challenge in life is being happy with what you have while in pursuit of what you want. Think of something you can do today to make yourself feel better and richer. Make sure not to miss the places and experiences and don't miss out on things you can enjoy. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was useful to you. Feel free to subscribe for more content like this, leave a like on the video so more people can actually see it and share it with a friend if you think it will help them. It really helps this channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. As a final note, let me just clarify that this is summary of a book. It is not any kind of advice. You and only you are responsible for the consequences of your own actions. With that out of the way, I'll see you guys next week, so enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye!